What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. Today we are going to be installing Bacchus Mod for Rocket League. So if you don't know what Bacchus Mod is, that's okay. There's a lot of new players to Rocket League, especially since it's become free to play. Um, and they have just recently released Bacchus Mod to where it's compatible with Epic Games um, since Rocket League is on the Epic Game Launcher now. So let's go ahead and jump into the install process and we'll just try to make this a a quick video just so it doesn't waste too much time. First thing you're going to do is just Google box mod and it should be the first option that comes up there. And then this is what their website looks like, very basic. All you need to do is just download now. It'll give you you can put that into Rocket League as a creator code if you want to uh you know support them. Not a bad idea. So Hit, click the download. It's going to download a zip file. Go ahead and open it. I'm going to run the setup. I guess we need to just or extract it first. So extract all, extract. All right. So. Windows Defender is going to see it as a virus just because it injects into another um, another app being Rocket League. So it's safe to run. Tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people have downloaded this. So we're just going to hit run anyway. And hit yes on the pop-up. See, to continue, the installer will close any open instances of Rocket League. Or Bacchus mod, so that is okay because we don't need it. We don't have any open, rather. And then we can create a shortcut and then hit install. All right, so if you're running into issues, you may need to whitelist it in your antivirus. I'm not worried about it right now, so go ahead and hit finish. An update is available. Small patch to fix post game MMR issues. Would you like to update? So we'll go ahead and update that too, just so it's the newest version of Bacchus Mod. So after you install the update, if it prompts you for that, you should be brought to a prompt such as this, where it says uninjected, waiting for user to start Rocket League. So at that point, you've got Bacchus Mod installed. So on your desktop, you should see a Bacchus Mod icon. That's what you need. So I'm going to go ahead and start from the beginning of launching Bacchus Mod. Um, end of Rocket League, so I'm going to go hit File and just exit out of it for right now. To launch it, it's as easy as can be. All you have to do is click on the Bacchus Mod icon there. It'll bring this little box back up. It'll say Uninjected, waiting for user to start Rocket League. I do want to throw in a disclaimer here. You should never launch Bacchus Mod unless you are going into Rocket League right after. That is because you don't want to accidentally launch it and then launch into a different game other than Rocket League. There are games that have anti-cheat functionality that will pick up a Bacchus Mod as you attempting to cheat the game. So just make sure that when you are launching Bacchus Mod, you are going right into Rocket League and not into a different game or leaving Bacchus Mod even open. Um, it's very important after you close out of Rocket League that you just do the file exit on Bacchus Mod as well. That way there's no no chance of you launching into another game with it running in the background. So um, just wanted to throw that out there. I've seen other YouTube videos saying that PUBG was a really bad for banning people for using or for having Bacchus Mod running in the background. So just be wary of that. There are plenty of games that have anti-cheat functionality and they will pick it up. So from here, all you have to do, again, it's saying uninjected. All you have to do is go up into your games, wherever you have Rocket League, and just start Rocket League up. It'll change the prompt to injecting DLL, and then it'll say injected, and then it'll launch Rocket League. So it says press F2 in game for the option menu, or for the menu itself. So once we get to the lobby here, we'll take a look at that after we jam out to just another banger that Rocket League has here. All right, so here we are at the lobby. We hit F2. There's the Bacchus Mod menu. So this first section here is your training drills. Again, Bacchus Mod 
is primarily used for training. So um, plenty of things there to get you set up and work on your mechanics for the game. There's an items tab, um, just doing a quick overview here. So you can enable that and then you can put literally anything on your uh, car. Um, just be noted that only you can see this. You can use these on public matches, um, but only your you will see it. So it's client side. So if you're playing with friends and you're like trying to brag to them that you have again. So this is a titanium white fennec. If I disinit or yeah disable that, I have a gray fennec, and that's my actual car. But if I enable it, it's titanium white. Only I will see that it's titanium white. Your friends will only see your defaults or your preset, so they will see whatever you have set up as your preset. So don't be going around trying to brag to your friends that you've got titanium white octanes or whatnot, because they won't see it and you'll look like an idiot. So um, there's that. There's a lot of other settings on here. You can, again, this only works for like custom games, I think, and free play. You can't use these settings in uh, multiplayer or public matches, rather. There's a free, free play section here. Custom training, again, that's what it's made for. So ranked, this is a pretty cool thing, a pretty cool tab. You can show MMR, so you can use that in public matches, actually, um, just to show what your opposition or your teammates MMR is. It shows it just on the scoreboard. Um, I have it set to where it automatically says GG. Um, you can save replays automatically. You can use POV goal replays. So basically it just follows whoever scored the goal around. Um, not sure what these are. Anonymizer. So basically it just says, I guess it takes their name off. Um, miscellaneous there. Bindings. Obviously you can change that if you need to. So another thing, Bacchus Mod has a ton of plugins. You can go and there's like an actual website dedicated to Bacchus Mod plugins. Um, gotta be careful since it's new to the Epic Game Store or the Epic Game Launcher. Some of them don't work and they'll crash your game. So just be wary of that. But if you just Google Bacchus Mod plugins, you'll get a bunch of them there, but there's already a ton here. And then they just have their patrons here. So um, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, leave a comment down below. If you have issues installing, leave a comment down below. Let's try to make a, you know, a good community of uh, Rocket League players that help each other out rather than be toxic because Rocket League is definitely one of the most toxic communities. So if somebody's asking for help or having issues down below, you know, if you can, try to help them out. But I um, hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. If you guys want to see any more Rocket League videos, um, let me know down below. But hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you in the next one.